All right, before we jump into another traditional draft for Theros Beyond Death, I want to remind everyone that my content is sponsored by Card Kingdom. You can visit their website on Twitch by clicking on the link, uh, the, rather the, the panel below with their logo, and on YouTube by clicking on the link in the description below. If you go in that way, they will know I sent you there, so check out their store. They have lots of good stuff. Okay. Okay. So... Pretty decent pack. I mean, Bronzehide Lion, Mire Triton, and Omen of the Forge are all cards I've been reasonably happy first picking. Um, the Lion being gold, I mean, I, it's good, but I don't think it's that much better than these two cards. It's better than them, but it's gold, and that makes me less inclined to want it. Mire Triton has been really good in this format loaded up with graveyard stuff and so i think i like it a little more than the omen which has kind of underperformed i think there's lots of x3s in this set that it just can't kill um so yeah i'll take Meyer triton here okay here i think we take dreadful apathy it's just a great removal spell so you know not much else to say there uh it's a lot better than ichthyomorphosis or one with the stars in most cases okay I love Archon of Falling Stars. It's probably what we take. It's a nice finisher that if your opponent, does, even if your opponent kills it, you get some value out of, and I always like that. Um, so here we're faced with Hierophant or Pegasus. They're both pretty great. This one helps load up your graveyard, obviously. The Pegasus is a nice attacker in the air. Holds aura as well. Um... Agonizing Remorse, Underworld Charger are nice too, but I think these two cards are better. I think I like the Hero Font a little more most of the time. Well, there's a Furious Rise, but I don't think we're going to go that route. So we could take an Envoy or an Amulet. I'd probably take the Envoy. It just can give you some silly starts. Right now, we don't have like a, a four mana aura that, to put on it to go crazy with, but... It's not that hard to make that happen. So I think I'm going to take the Envoy over the Amulet here. I like it better than these two as well. Okay. So Funeral Rites will give us a third card that loads our graveyard really well, but we don't actually have um, Escape right now. Now, it does set up our Archon potentially, but uh, yeah. I do like having one copy in most black decks, but maybe I should, you know, these three things aren't that exciting, but they're all fine. I think maybe I'd rather just have the funeral rites, though. Okay. So here we have I th Agonizing Remorse and Scavenging Harpy and Sentinel's Eyes. I think the Remorse is a pretty nice card in this format. Um, I think it's what I take here over the Harpy. I do like the Harpy reasonably, but... Remorse has proven to be pretty good. Um, okay, so Piper, Soul Reaper. Um, neither of them are very exciting. Same is true of Glory Bearers and Karametra's Blessing. They're all sort of similar in terms of how much I want them, which is I'll play them, but usually prefer I don't. Um, well, that's not true. You play them more than you don't, actually. But they're just not exciting. Um, yeah, I think we'll take the Soul Reaper there. All right, here we'll take a Captivating Unicorn. It can set up some nice stuff sometimes. Okay, so we've got Omen of the Dead, Nyxborn Courser, Glory Bearers as our real choices here. So Omen of the Dead right now is good at getting back things we mill. And it's good, especially with our Archon. These two are fine creatures, but I think I'd maybe rather just have an omen here. Wow, this Pegasus came back. I will take it. There's a second Agonizing Remorse. I don't know how much I really want two of them. Because they can be dead cards or close to dead in the later part of the game. So I think I'll take a Pious Wayfarer. Alright, don't know that I want a second omen either. I'm happy to get a last pick Leon of the Lost, lost Pride though, I have to say. Man, Fateful End's nice. I think that's what the pack one, pick one, pick would be here. Um, for us, it's probably Triumphant Surge. Uh, Minion's Return hasn't been super impressive. It's fine, but I think this is a 
better. Most decks have so many ways, so many creatures to die to this or ways to pump their creatures so that they die to it that it's proven to be a pretty good removal spell here. All right. Definitely want Meyer's Grasp here. This is a strong pack, though. Mystic Repeal, Fairy's Band Brawler, Meyer's Grasp. All three of those are first pickable. Even Omen of the Forge on the lower end. I think pack one, pick one. I would probably still take Meyer's Grasp, though. I could see an argument for either of those, but, you know. What we wouldn't mind right about now is a Heliod's Pilgrim. Um, so we have more ways to load our graveyard, but I think we have enough of those and not that many ways to take advantage of it that I'd rather just take like a dude here or an aura. I think I'm just going to take a harpy. Although Sentinel's Eyes is pretty great on things like Sunmane Pegasus, decent on Transcendent Envoy, and it does have escape. So it works with all our self-mill. Um, yeah, maybe we'll take our first one there. Oh, Heliod's Pilgrim. Yes, please. Using it to help you set up all kinds of silly, uh, you know, grabbing a removal spell or grab a Sentinel's Eyes is pretty nice. So, Lampad of Death's, Death's Vigil is pretty nice. It's better in a red-black deck, but it'll be fine in ours. Hero of the Winds has been a pretty big disappointment on the whole. Um... How many ways do, do we plan on targeting our creatures? I think the answer right now is one. So I don't think we're interested in it. I think we probably just want the lamp pad more than the Pious Wayfarer too. It's also an enchantment, so it triggers all of that. Ooh, man. So Staggering Insight is great, especially if you can just stick it on an early flyer. But we have zero fixing right now. We could try to pick some up, but it's but nowhere near guaranteed in this format. Um... So I don't think that's what we're going to do, unfortunately, for us. We could mill it and get it back with our Archon. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, I think we probably just want Revoke Existence. I think having one Revoke and one Triumphant Surge is better than having two of either of them. Uh, more flexibility that way. Karametra's Blessing and the Wayfarer are fine, but we'll take a Revoke there. Uh, decent green cards still around here. Do we need a Courser more than we need a Glory Bearers? That's the question. Uh, we can really go with either. Probably go with Glory Bearers. Ooh, another Heliod's Pilgrim. Look at all that green, but we're really happy to take another Pilgrim. Now, suddenly something like Minion's Return looks a lot better when we can search it up at will it's still not amazing but our other choice is rumbling sentry so i think it's what we want here we will take a sentry though nixborn forcer sure another glory bearers why not pious wayfarer wow last pick triumphant surge Ooh, yeah man look at this pack <laughs> erebos is intervention banishing light drag to the underworld heliod's pilgrim those are all cards that you first pick a significant chunk of the time. Obviously enough, uh, we want Erebos' intervention. It's the best of them, um, but yeah. I'm glad we're black. So, third Heliod's Pilgrim? Is that too much? How many auras do we have at this point? We've got Sentinel's Eyes. Meyer's Grasp, Dreadful Apathy. Minions Return, which may not make the cut. Um, we probably don't want a third Heliod's Pilgrim. We might regret that decision later, but right now I think we'd rather just have like a Sun Main Pegasus. Um, hmm. Yeah, hmm. It's just so hard because it draws you, when it draws you a removal spell, it's just insane. I don't know which intervention is the best. The white one's pretty great. The black one's pretty great. And green and blue and red are less good, but they're all still pretty nice. So it's either the black one or the white one, I guess, is my answer. Um, man, do I just take another Heliod's Pilgrim and figure I'm going to grab some more auras? Yeah, Mogus's Favor would be nice, and it does give us another one to search up and another thing to trigger Constellation. Um, 
But I think I'd rather have Sunmane Pegasus than Mogus' favor if I'm not taking Heliod's Pilgrim. How are we doing on two drops? Fine, we're fine. Okay. This is a difficult pick. The best card in the... Well, no, I'd probably take the Pilgrim, like, pack one, pick one over the Blessing or Hakdos. I think I'm going to go with the Pilgrim. I don't think it's wrong. I have a hard time saying anything is straight up wrong in Limited. It's hard to quantify what is right and what is wrong in Limited. I mean, there are things that would be wrong, like if I took a Nyxborn Seaguard here. But I think taking either the Pilgrim, the Pegasus, or Mogus's favor are all defensible positions... That's true. It's another card with escape when we have a deck that has a bunch of Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's reason enough. Yeah. You convinced me. I think that pushed me pushed me in that direction. So how many black mana symbols are in our deck? I think enough that we probably want it, but it's it's not gonna be amazing. And by it I mean Grey Merchant of Asphodel. I think we want it more than a second Mogus' favor or a second Revoke Existence. Yeah. Okay, so here we have a chance at another Devotion card. We also have Favored of Eroas, which is going to have Double Strike a lot in our deck. Um, I don't love any of these black cards. I mean, we already have one Lampad. We already have one Omen. I think we actually have two Omens. And we already have one Minion's Return. And yeah, searching up an aspect is nice sometimes, but I don't think so. Do you think the Black Omen is a slam here? I'm going to have to disagree when I already have two of them. <laughs> uh, when I can take something like Daybreak Chimera instead. Okay, second Daybreak Chimera. Oh, there's also a Final Death, though. Yeah, I think we probably take Final Death. Wow, another final death. Hmm, this is going to be a hard deck to trim down. It's because our colors have been so open. It's a good problem to have, I guess. Um, we do have a decent amount of removal already. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to grab another final death, though. Hard to say no. So I think we're okay on two drops. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to grab the Pegasus here. How many enchantments do we have? Do we have enough that Captivating Unicorn is worthwhile? One, two... Wait, what am I counting? Enchantments, that's right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. Some of these are going to end up getting cut, I can tell you already. But eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, the two drop isn't bad. I mean, we have twos. I think the, I think the two drop's probably a good call here. We already did have one, I guess, but... So, Marauder or Favored? I think we want Favored of Aroas here. I'll take another Sunmane Pegasus. I grabbed the Aspect because, again, like I did in our first draft, I forgot that sideboards actually matter because I've been playing ranked, and now I can't. Yeah, this is going to be hard to trim, somewhat, anyway. Um, probably, I'll leave the Wayfarers in for now. Let's cut the obvious things. Things like Nyxborn Courser. Uh, Soul Reaper is kind of obvious. I think Minion's Return gets cut. I think we go down to one Triumphant Surge. We can side in another if we want it. Um... So what, what are we looking at here? 22 creatures. So we can cut creatures and not feel too bad about it. Um, 
Yeah, Harpy might be better suited in our sideboard. That's probably true. I don't love Pious Wayfarer, but we do have several evasive creatures and lots of enchantments. Probably cut at least one Glory Bearers. Gray Merchant may end up being on the chopping block, I guess. Lampad's not going to be that good in this deck. I think I cut it. Maybe just cut all the glory bearers. I think this deck is more of a mid-range deck. I think that's basically already its identity. Well... I guess Pious Wayfarer pushes us into being more aggressive, but I think this deck is clearly better suited to mid-range than anything else. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to cut Soul Reaper, Pious Wayfarers. Uh. <laughs> I guess I have a ton of removal already. I could just move both Triumphant Surges to the sideboard. And yeah, maybe Gary's just not going to cut it here. We don't have that many black permanents. Yeah, I think you're right about him. Do we move Revoke to the sideboard with all the removal we have? We probably can get away with that. Oop. We're now down to 14 creatures, though, so the last thing we cut probably should not be one, ideally. I mean, we can get away with 13, maybe, but... How many auras did we end up with for our Pilgrims? Sentinel's Eyes, Mogus' Favor... Transcendent Envoy may just be the cut. Yeah, the Lamp Pad can finish, but it does it better in a deck that's like making tokens and stuff like that. But you're right. I think... Yeah, I think maybe I cut the Envoy here. This isn't really a one-drop, so we'll stick it over there. Um... But I think that all works out. I think that's a decent deck. Lots of flyers. Would have kind of liked a better aura to stick on those flyers. Namely, um, what's it called? Uh, the four mana plus two plus two first strike make a soldier thing. I don't think we want to cut the Pegasus. They've been pretty nice in this format. They finish out games. They make it hard for your opponent to race. I think I think I want three Pegasi. Pegasi. I think I'm sticking to it. We definitely have enough enchantments. Yeah. Yeah, commanding presence would be the thing we really want. But yeah, I think this will be our deck. Lean into the lost pride. We can maybe have a conversation about actually. I think we should, because it is definitely more of an aggro card. So maybe I'd rather just put in another flyer there than I would a uh, two mana three one yeah I think that's probably decent it's also an enchantment and that matters for a bunch of cards in our deck so yeah um or I could put the lamp pad back in maybe lamp pad's better for us I mean we have a few auras but I don't think we have enough I think we put in lamp pad yeah Let me count enchantments again real quick, because I might be wrong here. We may have cut enough that we don't have any on this part of our curve, for example. So we have four, five, six. So we're down to only six enchantments. That changes things, I think. It makes our captivating uni unicorn a little less attractive, for example. Same is true of our uh, favorite of Eroes. So maybe we just cut both Leonins and put in fly, put in another enchantment creature. 
Yeah. I mean, we need we need enchantments. We could do the same here, like put in a glory bearers instead of a hero font. Or cut the unicorn. Yeah. Cut the unicorn, add glory bearers. Um I think we're going to do most of our winning with flyers, so I think that's probably not an unreasonable thing to do. Although tapping down one flyer can be pretty potent. Yeah, this is tricky. I think we're up to seven enchantments now. That's probably a good, fine place to be, rather. I mean, well, I can cut the Hierophant for one of them, but the Hierophant is just so much better than, like, Glory Bearers. Sets up our graveyard and all that. Though, we're not the best graveyard deck in the world. Yeah, I think I convinced myself. Let's stick the other creature in. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this does. Looks like you guys agree with the hero font cut. Yeah, that's true. Talk about some slow loading decks. Ouch. Much better. Probably gonna put Glory Bearers on the bottom. <laughs> I mean, this costs five and all, but it's removal and we're gonna want it at some point. So I am gonna leave it. There's some stuff for Timoret to exile. <laughs> I don't hate the idea of trading with Timoret. Apparently they do, though. I say we offer it up. Yeah, we will want to kill that, it's true. Our deck's not super graveyard crazy, but yeah, we'll still probably want to do it. go with Meyer's Grasp. Let's hope his devotion doesn't get too high, I guess. Player Chimera. But I think maybe we want to Myers grasp him while we can. put Mogus' favor on our pilgrim and go to town. That's interesting. I think we just go ahead and attack. I mean, if we tap out, I have to use all our mana to play our Chimera. Kind of okay with it.
Does it die right away? No. Works for works for me. It's not very nice. We play our glory bears here. It's a nice size right now. Hated that thing. <laughs> Favor on Lampad could be interesting, that's for sure. Why does it have to be another creature? It's annoying. Um. Hold on to the favor for now. Yeah, there could be a portent coming. Our lamp pad protects us from it, luckily. Well, doesn't exactly. I mean, it's annoying. Thank you for the follow, Lester Chalkin. That's a big boy. I guess it's not that big of a boy right now, though. Probably worth final death thing either way. Because I'd kind of like to hold on to the cards in my hand. <laughs> if I can help it. Okay. Now things get interesting. Alright, so... Hmm. So the question is, do I leave mana up to protect myself from a portent for now, or do I put Sentinel's Eyes on Glory Bearers and attack? Um, in which case, I'll get to take down... Oh, never mind. I'll only take down one creature. Yeah, we'll leave up the mana. So, definitely the thing to do, but it does suck for us. <laughs> it's not the end of the world or anything, but I think I want to go for a double block there. Maybe not in a world where I have very few things in my hand. Eh, I'm going to double block. blocker now we need to draw one of our big exciting cards like our Archon or Erebos's intervention well that's not good I've used that card so many times myself that it's about time someone punished me with it 
The good news is they're not gonna like kill me off of it, but you know, they're gonna they're gonna mess us up. Might as well play my Pegasus. It would not be the first time where I had um Amogus's favored Pegasus like take care of things for me. <laughs> uh, don't tell me. Yo, that's that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. We're much closer to dead now. Okay, well. <laughs> Could be worse, I guess. Maybe they'll forget to sack my pilgrim. Wouldn't that be nice? That's not what's going to happen, though, unfortunately. So... We probably want to bring in our revoke... Whatever. The enchantment... Uh, artifact destroying spell. Yeah, it's pretty much good game, but... Not... We're not there yet. <laughs> no, we pretty much are. Yeah. So, yeah, we want Revoke Existence. I think that's all. Um, probably cut Remorse. It's an easy card to cut. Yeah. I think that's a keeper. It's a slow start, but I think that's okay. Hmm. I think we'll play our favorite of Eroes. I do like the black red deck. It's the first time in a while a sacrifice deck actually seems to like function. Um, I think we just play our Pegasus and end our turn. Let's hope they don't have a poor tent. Although, I guess if they do, they can't sack this turn, too. They can just hit me. Take two. Hey, Zach. Doing good. We went 5 1 in our first draft. We're not going to be able to finish this one, but um, yeah. So I think I attack with my favorite. I can give it double strike at instant speed if I want to. I could also go all in on the thing, grab a uh, Sentinel's uh, eyes, attack. Hmm. With the amount of removal they have, I don't think going all in on a guy is as good of an idea uh, as just doing this. Oh, I should have done it at instant speed, though. That was dumb of me. Yeah, that was stupid. I said I was going to do it, and then I didn't do it. So, I'm, I'm smart.
play my Pegasus. Uh, it was Gruel 5-1. Furious Rise and Annex and all that stuff. We go Heliod's Pilgrim. And what do we want? Myers Grasp, probably. Um, I think we probably want to hit the card draw more than we want to hit anything else. Yeah. He's going to sack it in response, but... We could attack here and just be cool with trading for this. But... I think, hmm, yeah, you know, I should just be cool with that, given what we have going on and what they have going on. Wow, what? Why would you, oh, what? It had first strike too? I'm very confused. What did I screw up there? Oh, it never entered the battlefield. Clever. Clever opponent. Um, uh, yeah, I'm lucky they blocked that way. Man, I had to hold on my upkeep because of I was going to, like, do some things, but... Which, and by do some things, I mean scry, but I screwed it up. What's new, right? So we'll scry this upkeep. Or that, well, at the end of their turn, actually. Okay. Now, we have all the answers. I don't think there's really a good reason to actually use any of these removal spells. <laughs> As we continue to draw more, maybe we should now. I'll think about it. Makes the clock a little faster. that decision <laughs> that's why we run three of them yeah they flooded real hard Yeah, they mulled to five and then got flooded. That's that's never fun. I 
That block my opponent did, they did because they thought I was like being tricky and not stupid when I attacked the way I did. <laughs> oh, how wrong they were. Um, this is a weird hand, isn't it? We do have early removal. In the worst case scenario, we can use this to scry. I think it's an okay keep, but on the draw, maybe I should try. Yeah, I think I can do better. <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. All right, this this is a keeper. Ugh, I'm gonna put Pegasus. Maybe we want the Pegasus more than we want the lamp pad because we can blow up some early things. But yeah, and then put the revoke, I guess. I guess. That was a hard, that was a painful mulligan. My opponent mulled the five in the last game though, so. That's how it goes sometimes. Should have kept that first hand. I think there was a decent probability of a better six card hand. Just didn't happen for us. So we're gonna need to kill that annex, obviously enough. They have lamp pad and stuff, which makes it real nasty. So, like, I could kill the Temple Thief at this point. But, if I wait another turn... Well... Hmm. There's the lamp pad that we feared. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is just bite the bullet here. Cast Erebos' Intervention for three. I guess I take one less damage if I do it on their upkeep, but I also risk them using a trick. So I'm just going to take the one more damage. Doing that before they can go off with lamp pad is ideal. Oh man. I think we just play our Pegasus here, put Sentinel's eyes on it, and pray. That's the that's the strategy I'm going with. <laughs> we can kill, well, probably the lamp pad, I guess. So yeah, if they, ooh, god, I just realized they cannot effectively block any of this. <laughs> oh man. So that's four, six, eight. Yeah, I think we just. If I'd played the grasp on the lamp pad there, I wouldn't be dead, but uh, but I did. Well, I guess if I block the lamp pad, I'm not technically dead. Because they would have to sacrifice them. Yeah, so we go to two. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, the good news is we have a way to gain life should our Pegasus continue to exist. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, I 
So I think it's probably better to Myers Grasp and Favorite of Eroas, but if I do that, yeah, I think we're screwed. There's no way not to die here. There was before they played a creature who gave them Menace. Hmm. Yay! We lose. <laughs> attack the token, attack with everything. Yep. We won one game there where things went pretty well with all the removal and everything, but you couldn't win more than one. Play first. Hmm. Seems all right. Kind of have to hope our opponent doesn't have a fast start, but, you know. Okay. Trying an actual three drop doesn't hurt. They did not have a fast start. That much is clear. Oh my god. What do you think they have? <laughs> Something with some scary uh, devotion requirements, I guess. Blacker Lotus. Wow. So they just like drew all nonsense. trying to decide if I want if they're trying to bait me into just playing everything and then them casting a, a board sweeper <laughs> and f I think for that reason I'm gonna be a little cautious here and just cast funeral rites instead of playing another permanent yeah dream trawler <laughs> that would be interesting I can kill most things that they play. Dream Trawler can't even save them at this point. Okay. Alright, so... I'm just gonna cast Final Death here. See if they can do anything about it. Sometimes it's best to be a little cautious because sometimes people are good gaming you 
to try to make you do something stupid. We didn't see any other deck, really, so... <laughs> Don't know if I want Revoke Existence or Triumphant Surge. Or any of our Graveyard Hate. Right, I think we can keep this one. Especially, oh, they're letting me play first. Does that change my mind? I don't think so. Worst comes to worst, we can always just, you know, play Mire Triton twice with our Omen of the Dead. <laughs> uh, okay. the trade here if they try to play an aura I have mana to kill this so like if they just take this two and then like try to put an aura on it I can Erebos's intervention in response so I think I will attack I'm also okay with the trade but They sure love their mana rocks. Ah, interesting, interesting. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna take it. Hold on to our Erebos' intervention. We've been lucky drawing lands here. Hitting every land drop is always nice. Okay, so... I think we'll final death here. Yeah. There's probably not any way for them to save it, yeah. Mire Triton is pretty sweet with Glory Bearers in play, because now it has two toughness, so you can't trade with it <laughs> anymore. they chose to call this a pantheon I mean I know it means all the gods but most people associate the pantheon with uh, Rome and the Parthenon with Greece and the Parthenon is not a pantheon because it's just a shrine to Athena so <laughs> anyway <laughs> I'll stop talking about that <clears throat> Okay, well, I think we just keep rumbling here and be prepared to kill anything they might play with our Erebos' intervention. Yeah. And in my turn. Nerd. <laughs> I think if I have a PhD in something... No, that's still pretty nerdy, I guess. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I feel like, though, maybe if it's your profession, it's not nerdy, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, so we could go for lethal here, but it is a little risky. Like, what I mean is we could kill this, put Mogus's favor on glory bears, and then just swing for lethal. Um... But, I mean, I guess I could still just put the favor on Glory Bearers. Makes it, a uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I could do that. It's a little less risky than firing off for intervention. The building on the altar looks more like the Parthenon than the Pantheon. The Pantheon, oh nice, the Pantheon is a, uh, it has a front that looks like this, a facade, but it's also a domed building built with, you know, Roman concrete and all that, whereas this is uh, all Greek, instead of just having a Greek facade, it is all Greek. Right. Yep, I do teach classes. I teach, yeah. I'm a professor, albeit a adjunct one, <laughs> but I have a PhD in history and I teach uh, uh, European history and a little bit of American history this semester. Oh, we're going to have to send back this one, too. See you later. Okay, that's good. All right, so I think we're going to have to send back Final Death. And I guess Daybreak Chimera, which I don't love, but I think you have to send something back there, and that's what I do. Yep, we, uh, it's actually our spring break next um, semester, next semester, next week. Starting tomorrow is our spring break, but then the two weeks after that are going to be all online. And I suspect it's going to go longer than that, uh, which will be interesting. Luckily, I have experience teaching online. However, I don't have any experience um, uh, switching to online in the middle of a semester. <laughs> Takes a little bit of different thinking. Alright, so I think we probably just grab Meyer's Grasp here. Yeah. It's too good not to, you know. Banger. Burr, 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 burr. Take two. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure, yeah. Yeah, takes some getting used to. What uh digital classroom do you use? Twitch stream one of my lectures. Man, now I wish I'd grabbed um What's it called? Uh Mogus's whatever blackboard. Yeah. I've used Blackboard, but it's been a while. Right now I'm teaching at three different universities, and two of them use D2L, and the other one... Or no, two of them use Canvas, and the other one uses D2L. That's it. Oh, that's sad. Thank you for the follow, AMCF Vieira. Um, we're just gonna take it. 
They look like they're probably mono black. Man, now I really wish I'd grab that, uh... Yeah, okay, well... I think we're gonna go ahead and head in Meyer's Grasp the Flyer. And we'll end our turn for now. But yeah, Mogus' favor would have been so good. Better than Meyer's Grasp. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take five. So, I'm worried that they have Gary, which really makes our life difficult. Um... I think I'm going to put Dreadful Apathy on the Berserker. Trade for Meyer Triton. And then... Erebosa's Intervention. So I can't block Temple Thief right now. That might be what I have to kill. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I do need to kill it. Okay, so yeah, they get to gain some free life here, basically. All right. Select a value for X. We're gonna go with three just to gain extra life. Okay. I think we're going to go Sentinel Eyes. Maybe I'll regret again. Uh, doesn't really make a huge difference here, obviously, except that I can block the Eidolon. But, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't remember what I was going to say, but, uh, I'm just going to take it, which is interesting because my hand's empty. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's cool with me. Double hateful Eidolon, huh? It's pretty gross. Ooh, that's a really good draw here. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're going to attack. I'm not sure there was a whole lot left in our deck that's better than this. Huge dude who, no matter what, is going to get back a Meyer's Grasp and kill something. Oh, wow. That's another good draw. Uh... We're drawing real well. I think I just have lethal now. Although if they... I guess they can gain life, so it's not quite lethal. Um... No real reason to attack with our Pilgrim. Okay, now it is going to be lethal. Oh, crap. 
<laughs> oh, never mind. The trigger happened, but it didn't do anything because it. Yeah, because it didn't. Uh... The trigger checks to see if the conditions are met, but obviously they weren't. So, I think Revoke Existence looks reasonable. Mogus's favor looks really good. Um, yeah, I probably cut Remorse for a uh, Revoke Existence. Yeah, that comeback was aided by back-to-back -back amazing top deck. Well, I guess the first one was most of the action, but yeah. All right, this is a good hand. Two drop, three drop, four drop. Yeah, you can you can get lethal out of nowhere uh, with the lamp pad, which is pretty sweet usually. Yeah, so not going to be able to block, but that's okay. I think I gave it a C. It's probably more like a C plus. It's still not something you really find yourself taking super early or anything. So this time, should I grab Mogus's favor? <laughs> Will I regret it as much this time? I don't know, because... I'm going to get Meyer's Grasp. They're going to play an X1 now. Again. Okay. Good. They didn't play an X1. That would have really been annoying. Okay, so... I can play my Envoy... And then play Meyer's Grasp on this guy. Um, who's more useful right now? Do we want the evasiveness or the reach? I can get either of them back if I really want to. I think I'll keep the flyer. In this case. We can get back the lamp pad for reach later if we really want to. That's gross. Luckily, Final Death helps deal with that to some extent. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get the lamp pad back now. Oh, hello. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go Final Death on Woe Strider. Get him out of our lives. Then, I'm going to put Mogus' favor on our Pegasus. A 4-2 Pegasus is very difficult to race in most scenarios. Especially in scenarios where it doesn't die. It's really a problem for people if it doesn't die. Um... Okay, so we're gonna go Mogus' favor, put it on the envoy. Uh, 
I think we want to keep the creature in more, although if we draw our Archon, losing Meyer's Grasp will be a little obnoxious. But we already have Omen of the Dead, so... Oh no. <laughs> Luckily in response I can get it back. Should be lethal thanks to Lamp Pad, although they do have a card in their hand, so you know, being cautious might be worth it. We still have our Dreadful Apathy in our deck. Um, so do we try to go for the lethal here? They actually have creatures they can exile, so it, it is not the right move <clears throat> at this point anyway. Because they can gain the life. Then gain two life. Yeah. Should they choose to. Um... Yeah, I don't quite have enough mana to go for lethal here. No. No, I do not. Alright, so let's play our Pilgrim. We actually still have Sentinel's Eyes, too. Which... Probably was the better move there, but we'll grab removal. Um... Yeah, we'll grab removal and play our lamp pad. I could play the apathy here, but I'm not going to yet. Just in case they draw something that really ruins our lives. All right, that should give us the win. No creatures to exile, right? No. Oh, it, you yeah, know, it's only creature cards that gain life, so. They just wanted to do it to do it. lost our first match, but we won the second two, so that's good.
Nothing until pretty late. And no black mana. I think that's a mulligan. That's much better. Man, I hate doing it, but I think I'm going to have to put my Archon on the bottom. Yeah. Um, the good news is... Uh, we do have a couple ways to shuffle our library, so he probably won't stay on the bottom. I mean... Hmm. Yeah, no, he goes on the bottom. We're just way too far away from casting him. And Shane Webb. Yeah, look, we can shuffle our library next turn. Arachnir is such a problem. We even have flyers that can punish, unfortunately, for us. Uh, and killing it is obviously not very worthwhile either. Um... I could attack here. It's a free attack, after all. Um, there's a chance they have a trick or something, but... I think I'm okay with that. They're thinking long and hard about whether they're going to block this one damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. I could search up uh, Mogus's whatever next turn after they block again. It's not the worst plan. So, yeah, we'll just cast Funeral Rites now. play auto tapper you you're crazy all right this time we actually had our grasp in our hand you know so we didn't feel quite as desperate to search it up Look out. We can actually exile their graveyard if that's like the best move later on. I think it's kind of funny. I could put Mogus' favor on one of my guys, but that seems unnecessary. Only I had enough mana. Hmm. So I could take a turn off here and just to play our unicorn, which seems pretty good right here. So I think I just attack with my Triton. If I take a turn off, I mean not kill the Hyrax Tower Scout. So, Arachnir, huh? That does make Lean-In of the Lost Pride significantly more attractive. And also Scavenging Harpy, although it's a flyer, it can exile their graveyard stuff. Yeah, I think we'll put in the Harpy and... Take out our favorite of Euroas. 
We already do have mainboard graveyard hate too, so in the form of uh, our intervention. Good hand. Bunch of discount auras. <laughs> Only one creature, but, you know, that's okay. See if it survives. I think there's a significant chance it does not. Yep. Well, <laughs> put the phoenix in your graveyard, please. Please put the phoenix in your graveyard. Man. Oh, well, or I'll just draw that. We've got some luck on our side today. See you later. So, she's a problem. We can kill her, though. Renata, that is. She only increases her power. Yeah. Well, my harpy doesn't look very good right here, but we are going to play it. And get rid of the Colossus. Return to nature. Return to nature. So, yeah, we need to use our auras to straight up kill stuff. For the most part. Um, or they will mess with us. Man, that's pretty annoying. Hello, Mictaru. Uh, I think we just have to end our turn. These are turn to natures, man. I could just Omen of the Dead and get back our Transcendent Envoy, I suppose. Which would make our auras cheaper and set up Chimera next turn. Yeah, we're gonna do it. It's not the most attractive use of the Omen. Uh, but I'll accept it. Yeah, they don't have double green for her yet. That part's nice. Uh, okay, so we're going to attack. Because if they let us Myers Grasp... Oh yeah, they can kill our Envoy if they want to, huh? Kind of forgot. Alright. So yeah, then we're going to... Myers Grasp, the Nexus Wardens... Hello, Arthur. And yeah, then we'll end our turn. You're not gonna return to nature, my envoy? Oh, you don't have to. Good morning, L-J-J-O-T-H-O. -O. Glad you've been enjoying the content. So, all right, fine then. Uh, yeah, so we'll play our Chimera here. Hey, they can play their Renata. How do we kill Renata? We have choices here. I feel like we probably want to exile the Arachnir. 
uh, more than we want to do it to Renata. So I think I'm just going to do this. Does mean Renata will be in play for a turn, but I'm okay with that. And yeah, then we'll attack with both. They're going to return to nature, my poor envoy. We got the value out of him we needed. So, should I just outright try to kill Renata here before things get silly? I don't think so. I'm sure they have plummets in their sideboard. And they may have brought them in. We'll have to see. Renata, I mean... Okay, good. I was going to say, Renata can be a problem. The fact that we keep not killing it could bite us. Like, if they play some flyer... I did have fun in the match. Thank you. I wonder why it asked me that. Does that mean that person's, like, under investigation? <laughs> yep. It's a black-white skies deck, basically. Okay, I think going first we can keep this. So we'll at least be three and two. Yeah, we're three and one. We'll at least be three and two, which is the break even point, so that's good. Wow. I'm really glad I drew two lands and then milled two useful cards. <laughs> These things happen, though. These things happen. All of our Pegasi are in our hand. That part's nice. Oh. Man, they're going to take away our Myers Grasp. There's nothing I can do about it. can only take non-creatures. Yeah. Six mana. So we don't want to search up an aura yet. Um. This is definitely a race we should be able to win. Oh, I'm stupid. They already did chapter two. I think this was probably still better. Uh, but yeah, I should have probably cast my Pilgrim. Uh, Dreadful Apathy for the spawn is a pretty attractive option. Now it's a very attractive option. Let's hope they don't have um, a way to punish me right away. Nope, not planning on streaming my teaching on Twitch.
Well played. Stupid land pad. Making our lives difficult. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah. Man, making this so it's only three seems like it was a real bad idea in Limited. Like, that's way too efficient. Of course, when I have it, you know. Oh, I've said the same thing when I've drafted it. Because it's pretty crazy. Okay. Final death should come in handy at some point. Maybe for the lamp pad, who right now can really beat us up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll end our turn for now, but Lampad being exiled is definitely on the table. Yeah, yeah. Um... We'll take eight. Yeah, the downside of putting Mogus's favor on our Pegasus is... Okay, so... I think we want to cast Final Death here on the lamp pad. it sacrifices itself. We've drawn pretty well today. We can stand to do it right now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Life is useful. We have them on a two-turn clock, sort of. They do actually have Timoret, so... He can gain life, unfortunately. Man, we exile their Archon, which also means they have a way to gain a life here by not... And they don't have to exile their own creatures. All right. I didn't think I was that secure. They could have gained... I guess they could have only gained t two life. Uh, but that would have been enough for a whole other turn. So... I think this is a scenario where we bring in our Harpy again and cut our favored. I think the Harpy will be better here. Seems like they struggled to block Flyers and they had some problematic graveyard stuff. Yeah, they were stuck on mana for the spawn. I'm sure it was frustrating. Revoke might be useful, but we have so much removal already that unless I see, like, a ton of targets for it, I don't really bring it in. If I saw, like, a couple of artifacts on top of everything else, maybe. But we did bring it in once earlier. No thank you. 
Yes, please. See you later, Final Death. Well, we have three of our auras already. It's always annoying when you have Heliod's Pilgrim in a way. Okay, so I think we're just going to go ahead and say see you later. Okay, that sucks. See you later, Dreadful Apathy, most likely. Yeah. That hurts. So I could put Sentinel's Eyes on it, but I don't think we do. Well, their graveyard has quickly become populated. Yeah, yeah. What do we even have left? Mogus is, uh... Thingamajig? I think that's it. Yeah. Mogus' favor. Still gets to draw a card, I guess. So there's that. And I could put Sentinel's Eyes and Mogus' favor on our Envoy. <clears throat> uh, not so much anymore. Yeah, they're getting me here with all these tempo plays. Okay. I'm going to put Sentinel's Eyes here because it enables better blocking. Well, I think they're probably going to be exiling my graveyard. Okay, that's useful. Um, I actually think the Hero Font is a bigger problem right this second because it's bigger and I can't block it. I mean, we don't want our stuff in our graveyard exiled, but we have, I think, two cards that actually care about that. Um, so just trying to win this race, I think, is our priority. Uh, and killing the Hierophant, I think, helps us in that direction. Um, I mean, even if I did kill Timurat right now, he'd exile my whole graveyard. So, uh, yeah. So, well, I guess we can hold on to it for now. See what happens. Timurat's a card that's way better. I mean, it's so hard, because when I did my set review, I definitely took into account how good Graveyard Hate was going to be in this set, but not to the level I needed to. Like, I think I gave him a C or C+. Plus. Probably a C+, plus, but he's more like a B-. minus. Interesting. Okay, well now we may have to alter our plan. Um, I'm going to block here. Take five. Yeah. Hmm. I could kill the hero font now. And not take the three, but we'll take it. They probably have Mogus' favor... Or that. That's that's not good either. Um, so, they're going to get back their Catablepis, which they won't be able to play just yet. But it'll be a problem next turn. It can give my... I have to kill Timurat now, I think. I don't think I have as much of a choice as I did. Because Timurat provides two devotion. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Oh, 
Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I got a little, little ahead of myself there, for sure. And I deserve what just happened. Yeah, sucks. Okay. So, here's the plan. Uh, we'll hold on to the enchantment here. And then... So, my plan is to block the Hierophant. <clears throat> Gross. Okay, um... We might be in... We are probably in revoked territory now. Yeah, they exiled my graveyard, so we're dead. So we saw three targets in that game for revoke. Is that enough? Yeah, the revoke makes sense for sure. Yeah, I just have to decide what to cut. Could be our unicorn. Probably is. Yeah. This is kind of a weird black-white deck in the sense that we don't have any, uh... We have hardly any graveyard stuff. Uh, Mulligan. No black mana makes it hard to want to keep that. All right. Much better. Um... Yeah, we have to put our Archon on the bottom again. Although, maybe we don't want to do it here. Maybe it's better to just do the Pegasus and hope we hit him because he is pretty amazing. I mean, the Envoy is pretty low impact, but I think playing something on turn two is pretty relevant. All right, I'm going to do it. I could put a land back too, I guess. That's not the worst plan with this hand. Let's put a land back. See if we regret it. Hope they don't take away our dreadful apathy again. So, we would like to draw some things here. And by things, I mean mana. Okay, so I think we just do this. Mana there would have been nice to play the Chimera on turn four. Well, they are going to take our Dreadful Apathy again. And I'm going to lose the enchantments in my graveyard. Oh, hey, there's a friends list now. I'm going to lose the enchantments in my graveyard for my Archon, which makes me sad. Well, they milled their mantle. I think here we just want to keep our foot on the gas pedal, play out the flyers. I bet they have Plummet. We haven't seen it, but uh, they probably had one somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good card. Alright, so let's cast Funeral Rites. Um, yeah. Okay, Myers, Myers' Grasp is in there now, which does matter. Although, matters less. Oh, no, Timoret's in their graveyard. The actual Timoret is, that is. So we're going to take the three here. So they can gain some life, uh, which is less than ideal, but hey. All right, so I think we attack with both our flyers and then play the Archon here. We have Meyer's Grasp in our graveyard for now. So if they play a trick here... Okay, there's a plummet. That's not a trick, unfortunately for us. A trick, like if they played, uh, yeah. Um, the plus three, plus three and reach trick. Gift of whatever. Card we see all the time. So should I risk a block? Okay, well... Now I don't get to just decide, so. Okay. Um. So. I guess Sentinel's Eyes is more useful here. So I can go Sentinel's Eyes. Hope they don't have more removal. They have so much stuff in their graveyard. <laughs> Scavenging Harpy is somewhat appealing. Ah, crap. Here comes Timoret. Well, that works out pretty well for us, I think, overall. Um, so I go final death on Hierophant. Now the question is, do I go all in on our Pegasus here now? If I do, I have lethal next turn. Well, provided they don't exile things, and they will. Uh, but I think we go for it. All or nothing. <laughs> that means they have to use some of their mana. Ah, oh, man. Well, I think we lose now. That's the all or nothing strategy for you. All right. I mean, we haven't quite lost, but we're working on it. We're working pretty hard. Yeah, getting back Cataplepis is, is nasty. That's a card I love that we didn't actually get for our deck. So yeah, we're in serious trouble here. If that wasn't 
immediately obvious. Our Pegasus making its toughness go down. Uh, they still could have killed our guy, actually. So I don't feel too bad about it now. So yeah, they just have to give one of their dudes t uh, flying here to not die. What do we have left? I guess we have Dreadful Apathy. But even then, they can gain life. Oh, we don't even have it anyway. Okay, so I think we're kind of screwed. Now it seems even more likely that we're screwed. Although... Should they forget to put that on something? Um, oh, I have to block with my Harpy. Yeah. Yep. Have to block with the Harpy. Should probably put Favor on the Pilgrim to have the best chance here. You five... Probably play another Omen of the Dead. Yeah, we're dead. Well, I think that deck, honestly, going 3-2 with that one is uh, is about what I would have expected. So, I'll take it. I will take it. Ooh, Mirror Maid. 